I love it when he's on his warp star. Who go gonna decide to do Christmas? So this right here is raw horse meat. Uh, Welcome guys to Fukuoka. This is my first time here. This is the very southern part of Japan, the most southern island. Not like Okinawa or anything, but it's Kyushu. Kyushu. I'm walking into Hakata Station now. This is the biggest station in Fukuoka, I believe. It's where the Shinkansen comes in and stuff. I just have like a jam-packed weekend of being in Fukuoka. People can bring their bikes in here, apparently. Now we are trying to find the Mr. Donut because right now they have Pokemon donuts, they always have Pokemon donuts this time of year, so they have new ones. So we're gonna go eat some Pokemon donuts. These are the new donuts, they're so cute. They have like a snow Pikachu. I think both of them are cream filled. This is probably like strawberry, like frosting or coating on top, and then inside is probably just cream. They didn't have Jigglypuff or the snow Pikachu last year, so these are totally new. You can just take the eyeball off and then it can be horrifying. Mm. I'm freaking out because this train says Sonic Limited Express. Literally Sonic. This is the Sonic train, guys. So we're here at Lala Port, Fukuoka, and we're actually here specifically to see a really cool thing that I'll show you in a minute. I see an airplane in that building. Do you see it? Yeah. Like in the... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so cool! That's oh. What's going on here? I, I bet these little things light up. Oh, yeah, and they yeah, have yeah. events and stuff. Before, like, you can talk to them and they light and they change color you get them. Oh, really? <laughs> That's cool. So is this the biggest Gundam in Japan now? Like, bigger than the Odaiba one? And maybe well, the Yokohama one? The same size. Oh, really? Okay. Dude, it, oh my god, it's so new. It feels like the same size as the other ones, I don't know. Oh my gosh, so huge. I love it. Is this its weapon? I don't know, I don't know anything about Gundam. You can get right up here. Oh my god, the pictures we can get. See, in Odaiba, there'd already be, even just like, yeah, at 9, 9 a.m., yeah, there'd be yeah. tons of people. There's, there's no there's one there's here. Gundam Park there. Oh, okay, yeah, but yeah. There's one in the mall too. Gundam Park over there little shop. This is great! Oh my god, we have the Gundam to ourselves, dude! <laughs> this is nuts. It's- oh my god, it's scary! <laughs> when you get up close! Blah. Gundam base in Fukuoka. This is the newest Gundam store base in Japan. I always say one day I'm gonna get into Gundam and actually like watch it and then I never do. And then I come here and I'm like, I wanna watch it. They have a lot of stuff from the new Gundam. Uh, which for Mercury, which I haven't actually seen. It looks so cool. Honestly, that could be, you know, my dive. I've tried the the 1979 Gundam before, but I didn't stick with it. But maybe Witch of Mercury. Maybe I'd be willing to give a shot, and that could help me get into Gundam. Every time I come into stores like this, I'm like, I'm gonna go home and watch Gundam. I'm gonna do it, and then I never do. And then I get jealous when I come in here and don't know anything. A lot of sushi places don't have like sushi that goes on the conveyor belt anymore because of COVID. So you just have to order it and it will just come straight to you. Is this salmon? The salmon no, this one? is tuna. Oh, tuna. This, tuna. Is, the, this is the different uh, fatness of tuna. Oh, okay. So like so super like fatty little, is that first yeah, one? Yes, yeah, super fatty, less fat. So this right here is raw horse meat. <laughs> raw horse meat sushi. What's it called in Japanese? Ba Basashi. Basashi. So. I'm gonna try it. Sakura Niku is the other name for it. Raw horse. Uh, do I just like go in one bite? Yeah, the go whole for thing? it. It's All right, good. Here we go. Uh, 
Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's really good. Yeah. It's just like any other sashimi. Yeah. You know? I always like these seared salmon ones with mayo on top. These are so good. I recommend them if you are kind of new to sushi or new to fish um, and you're a little bit scared to try like the raw fish, you could get more of the cooked one. These are really good. We came upon the Kirby pop-up shop here in Hakata Station. And uh, yeah, it's like this limited Kirby store full of Kirby goods. <laughs> I love the winter outfits. Sword Kirby. For some reason when I was little, I called him Shaman Kirby because I was really into Shaman King. And I don't know, he just had a sword and I was like, <laughs> I was like, everyone that has a sword is from Shaman King. It was, it was like my logic. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Cute. <laughs> what? Why does he look like that? These are like Kirby right back at ya. The TV show back in the day. I love these. I think maybe this one too. I don't know, I love I love it when he's on his warp star. Basically you pick out one of these and it gives you a random one so you don't know what you're gonna get until you open it and then you build it. So now I'm at one of the most popular spots in Fukuoka. This is right outside Canal City, which is this huge shopping mall just full of crazy stuff. You'll see these things called yatai, which are food stalls, and it's mostly like ramen and hakata or uh, kyushu and Fukuoka type food. Once it gets dark, the people, the people that own the yatai, they'll pull out their stands and they'll line them up around the river. Every year around Christmas, Fukuoka has like two, two separate Christmas markets. Fukuoka knows how to do Christmas. They have these stands and you can get like drinks and Christmassy food. They're still setting up, I think, most of these places. It's usually a nighttime thing. If you see something good, let me know. Wow, this is crazy. So at the Christmas market, there's a lot of German style food. Cause like, you know, German, Germany, Christmas, like German Christmas market kind of thing. And um, yeah, Japan embraces that. So we have some German sausage. <laughs> get a seasoned one, get a seasoned one. One of these? Yeah, 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 All right. yeah it's nice and seasoned. Is it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, mm. Yeah. Ooh. That's real German food. Now I'm gonna show you the capsule hotel that I stayed in during my time in Fukuoka. This is the Millennials Fukuoka and it features a regular hotel as well as a capsule hotel. You have this screen right here that you can push up and down and actually some of the capsule hotels come with a projector so you can watch movies and YouTube and Netflix and stuff on it. There's a place where you can put your belongings up above you, like a shelf. There's a phone, which is an important part of this particular capsule hotel because as you can see here, I can dim the lights and I can turn them back on specifically with this. It's actually like an old iPhone 4, I think. They just turn all these iPhone 4s into remotes. Not only can it change the lights, it can also turn on the fan and it can make the bed go up and the bed go flat. There's a place to charge your phone and of course the iPhone remote. And there's a place to store your luggage of any size, just about right under the bed. This capsule hotel was about 3,000 yen a night, so not bad. Good morning guys. It's the next morning and if it's one thing about Fukuoka that I didn't expect to see, uh, it's snow. Actually, I think it just stopped. But I think there's supposed to be snow flurries all day. Snow is really, really rare here in Fukuoka because it's kind of like subtropical weather. It's like the southernmost island. Why is this dude honking? People in Fukuoka, they love to honk. It's windy too. Fukuoka is it's supposed to have subtropical weather. I mean, it does normally, but it's really rare for it to be this cold and for it to snow here. So we're going to take more looks around Fukuoka today, even though it's super cold.
Here's a Christmas market that's open in the morning. Wait, is this the one I went to the other day? Man, it looks so, it is. It just looks so different during the uh, day. I didn't even notice. Is it open? I mean, there's people. I don't know. Let's go around and see. Well, it looks like it's just open to the public. So I guess it's cool. It's so different during the, uh, the daytime and it's way less busy as well. Now that there's not a million people around me, I feel like I can kind of see the booths better and see what <laughs> is actually around here instead of just a flood of people. It's still super cold though. I'm at the uh, Hakata City or Hakata Station area. It's still snowing. <laughs> in like December, it starts getting dark around 4 or 4.30, <laughs> which is great when it's uh, illumination season or Christmas because the illumination lights get turned on early. So that's nice, but it just feels like, wow, I just started my day and now it's over. <laughs> this is where you can get on the boats and go down the river, but it's so cold and windy. I don't think Kyushu people are ready for that. <laughs> Kyushu people aren't really used to weather being this way. <laughs> to give you an idea, I guess this place is like on the same latitude line as like the deep south. Maybe like Georgia, uh, like Atlanta. They have their Santas out. <laughs> Man, Fukuoka loves Christmas. I love it so much. So the last dinner that I'm having in Fukuoka is a, is it like a Fukuoka thing or is yeah. it like Kyushu in general? Okay, yeah, Fukuoka. Motsunabe, which is like kind of like hot pot, but with a special meat. It's like tripe or something. But yeah, if you come to Fukuoka, you have to have Motsunabe. It's everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and we have gyoza to put in there too. So I guess when it gets really warm, we'll throw the gyoza in there and eat up. Mm. There's tofu in there too. Tofu, bean sprouts, cabbage, uh, green onion. I'm not a meat person. Like, I don't know my meats, so I'm guessing yeah. if it's meat, I'll eat it. It's probably ready for the gyoza. We'll teamwork this. Woohoo! There we go. They're stuck together. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> not, nah, it's splattering on me. Once the meat's probably cooked, it's probably good to go. So, this is the, the meat of what kind I don't really know or understand. See if I can eat it without dropping it. It is really chewy. Here's the exciting part. The gyoza. Gyoza. Ah. Mm. My favorite part of nabe. I always like tofu. It's fun. As I'm walking back from dinner, here's an example of one of the yatai. This isn't um, along the river. Um, Epichan. This is more of a bar. This isn't like a, a ramen place like this. Yeah, it's just for drinking, but that's kind of what they look like. And that does it for my Fukuoka journey. My first time in Fukuoka, and honestly, I'm not saying this lightly, I cannot recommend Fukuoka enough. Like, it's so fun. So if you're trying to figure out places outside of Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto, like the bigger, more touristy cities, Fukuoka, it should be your first choice. The food is great, the city is wonderful, and I recommend it even more during Christmas. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like if you liked it, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye!